Thanks for watching my video um, about four easy to use programs that will clean up your computer and speed up your computer um, boost its overall performance. The first one is called CCleaner. You want to open it up. You can download it for free. They ask for donations, but you know, you can just download it for free. It's freeware. So, first of all, you want to be at Cleaner. That will be the default tab that's open. Um, make sure everything's checked. Um, you don't you don't necessarily need any of this stuff. You can just pick and choose what you actually want to clean. Um, basically, this will just analyze your computer um, for basically uh, what it says: temporary internet files, cookies, history. Um, and this is basically just internet and communication stuff. This has 118.6 megabytes that can be removed. Um, this is stuff you don't need. It won't delete any important files. Um, you do run cleaner, okay? And it's running pretty much because I just run it before this. There was actually 3,000 something megabytes that it removed of just temporary internet files. Now what this does is just gets rid of space on your hard drive that um, that you actually or gets rid of files on your hard drive that aren't needed and they just take up space and that actually makes your computer slower the more cluttered it is with junk. Now the registry um, this will just scan your computer registry um, for problems and also it can scan for um, duplicate files found and stuff. Um, I just ran it, ran the registry cleaner before this so it um, doesn't have any issues but usually it finds hundreds of issues and once you once it finds them you do fix selected issues um, and you you can I suggest uh, you back up your registry so when you do when you click on fix selected issues it'll ask you if you want to back up your registry and I actually have a specific folder meant for registry backups that I use for this under the tools tab you can just play around with certain stuff in here um, I don't usually use this because I just I usually just go to add or remove programs in the uh, control panel so you can remove programs from here. Um, you can also remove programs from s the startup. So if you have any annoying programs to start up when you start Windows, then you can actually disable them from here. Um, and that's my uh, antivirus software, so I doubt I want to disable that. Under options, you know, just look in there, see what you want. Usually the default settings are the best. The second program I'm going to be talking about is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Again, that's a freeware program. You can download it online. I have already installed it and everything, so I'll provide the links in the description, probably. Um, perform. It'll ask you right when you install it, right after you install it. Perform quick scan. And this is good for removing certain spyware programs um, um, and Trojan downloaders. Um, a good example of that would be there's a, a Trojan downloader called uh, Win anti Win XP Antivirus 2008 and there's also a 2009 version of that. It acts like an antivirus program and but it gives you fake messages that say you have blah 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 thousand viruses on your computer when you really don't. It's just an advertising scheme to get you to buy their pro version of antivirus software. So, you know, don't fall for it. It's just a fake advertising scheme. And this, it's really hard to get rid of. So, um, this program will actually get rid of it really fast. It'll find, it'll detect it, and it'll just get rid of it, and you reboot your computer, and it's back to normal. It gets rid of all the issues. This will also get rid of other spyware and malicious software. Now, um, I'm pretty sure my computer's not infected, so I'm 
just going to go ahead and exit. Um, and, yep, that's a really good program. The third program I'm going to be showing you is just the, the, uh, actually comes on Windows. At least on Windows XP, I'm pretty sure it comes on Vista and, uh, previous versions of Windows. Disk Defragmenter. You go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and Defragmenter. Now, I have two hard drives. You want, you usually pick your, you usually want to select your default hard drive that Windows is installed on. Um, if you don't know what that is, usually it's the larger hard drive. Of course, you know, I can't necessarily say that, but, um, just, you know, you might want to go ahead and defragment both hard drives. But, um, you can analyze it to see how many, um, fragments there are on your hard drive. Fragments are basically missing files or files, system files that aren't in the right place on the hard drive. Um, when there's a lot of fragmented files on your hard drive, then it makes your computer slower and it takes, and unneeded files take up more space. So, you want to get rid of those and just kind of clean it all out. And it, or it basically just reorganizes everything for a much more productive computer. The fourth program I'm going to show you, um, it's not necessarily a certain program, a uh, specific program, but um, you want, you really want antivirus software. Any form of antivirus software. Um, if you're looking for a free antivirus software solution, um, Avast Antivirus is actually a really, I hear, a really good free um, antivirus software. It's, I mean, you can buy the professional version, but the free version is pretty good just for basic antivirus protection. Um, and basically you want something that will have an active firewall or something like that so when you're browsing the internet you don't get inbound. Uh, it blocks all inbound threats towards your computer. Um, I specifically have Bitdefender Total Security which costs $80. Uh, took me a long time to actually be convinced that I should spend that much money on it. Um, you can get, you can actually get, like, Bitdefender antivirus overall is rated probably, it's either the best or the, about the second best antivirus software you can get. It's, it was, in a lot of the surveys I've seen, or the reviews I've seen, it was rated the best antivirus software available today. Um, now you can, now don't be fooled, it's not really all that expensive. Bitdefender Total Security is $80, but then Bitdefender Antivirus, which is the basic antivirus coverage, which is what you want anyway, that's actually $30. So, there's quite a difference there. $30 is not bad, as opposed to the, what Norton, Norton and uh, Kapersky and McAfee charge for their antivirus software. Um, and plus, De Bit Defender's actually better. Um, I hope you found this video useful and hope you gained some nice uh, tips from that. You know, if you comment at the bottom, if you have any questions or anything like that, and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks.